Chegar na Etiópia e desembarcar em Addis Abeba, que é a capital, é surpreendente. É uma cidade grande. Addis é um lugar que você consegue perceber muito, que é um ponto de conexão, que é um centro onde tudo começa. Eu sempre procuro ir para lugares que eu nunca fui. Eu acho que o desconhecido ele tem um poder de abrir lugares desconhecidos em você também. A forma que eu me coloco é o que, que eu posso aprender num lugar que eu nunca fui. Então, a comida que eu posso comer, um ritmo novo de música que eu posso escutar, uma língua diferente que eu posso aprender a falar pelo menos oi. E eu acho isso maravilhoso. University student here in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa. My family's Ethiopian, but uh, I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. for 18 years, and then I moved here. Part time, I'm a skateboarder, you know, it's a unique life here. When I moved to Ethiopia four years ago from America, I found the skate group Ethiopia Skate, and uh, you know, I just spent a weekend with them and I enjoyed it, so every weekend I go skate with them. Now I'm a part of them. I'm a skateboarder with Ethiopia Skate. My name is Sean Stromso. I'm from California. And I've been back and forth from Ethiopia like, I think 23 times. So I kind of live in both places. Ethiopia Skate was born just, you know, in a parking lot from a bunch of kids and myself and um, any, basically anybody that was skating in Addis Ababa at the time. We would have like weekend skate sessions. People would come from other neighborhoods, even from abroad, people that are visiting. We had a spot that we would all meet up and skate, and things kind of grew from there. We had social media, we were able to share. So I didn't choose skateboarding here. Uh, the kids here were, like, were skating, they loved it, and they were already pretty good at it when I met them. But there wasn't any access to it, so like what I brought to the table was Kind of, uh, I go back and forth a lot, so I would bring boards and I was able to share what they're doing on social media. And we were able to get, you know, a bunch of boards from uh, abroad to, so the whole scene could just like blossom from there. And the whole goal was to make a skate park, uh, but it took like three years of just kind of like, campaigning and, and skating to, to get there. And why it's important here and why it's possible here is because it's that the city is developing so fast. The country too, there's road, new roads being built every day and there's new skate spots being built every day as well. It helps change people's characters, uh, their outlook on life, like, you know, they feel more confident to pursue their goals, you know. 
because they once they know like they have family backing them, like skateboarding as a family, you know, skateboard family. You see kids that used to be fighters and thieves and stuff, and now they're just, you know, the kindest kids, and all they want to do is skate and find a good job and you know live a good life. We're doing something for the youth, for youth development, and for sports in the country. Hopefully, trying to reach the Olympics one day, because. Skateboarding is an Olympic sport, if you didn't know. Yeah, it's now on. Now on, yeah. We've been changing lives for the better. I've noticed that. Eu acho que o esporte tem muito esse poder de salvar vidas, né? Não só pelo fato de dar uma função, uma tarefa, mas também energeticamente falando, o esporte ele canaliza muito da energia do ser humano. E isso é muito importante, porque quando ela canaliza, ela passa a ter um propósito. E esse propósito ele passa a ser um imã na sua vida. Música